We do. Um, and I love that because I've always been wired that way to have high expectations. Um, and coming in here, I could feel it in the spring right after the trade, just the culture was different. Um, I mean, A, it's a family. Uh, it truly feels like a family. And football, you know, it's always talked about in a, in a locker room. All that's always talked about. It's a family. It's a family. But something feels different here. But the expectations are there. And, and having uh, Mr. Ursay talk to us got me kind of fired up uh, last night. And uh, he still has got a lot of passion, a lot of energy. Um, and I think he got a lot of guys excited. All right, William Baldy, we've talked a bunch about the reunion with Carson Wentz, his former OC, now head coach Frank Wright. But real talk, what are you expecting from Wentz, Willie? I hope it, it, it's not the 2020 Wentz. I hope he's not leading the league in interceptions and his confidence is there. And because he's in a, in a, in a better environment with this coach and with the great offensive line and with the great running game and receivers on the outside and a top 10 defense, that he can wipe away what happened in Philly. And, Baldy, you live in Philly. You understand what went on. It wasn't just on the football field. It was outside noise that made him feel a certain way. I hope that all that's erased because now the setting is clear. The setting is perfect for Carson Wentz, who was a top draft pick, to come in and show everybody that he is that guy that they drafted. Everything that happened before is gone. He can play at a high level. There's really no excuses. There's no more excuses I can make for Carson Wentz of why he shouldn't play and be a top talent at the quarterback position in this league. Everything else is in place. It's all about the quarterback position, and he's in charge. He's the man. So You're right, Willie. You're right. I mean, this is a ready-made team. Ready-made team. They won 11 games last year. They've been in the postseason. I played for the Colts, Willie. I know from Jimmy Ursay to Chris Ballard to yeah. Frank Reich. This is a top-flight organization. Absolutely. Uh, they have built a good team. They've won 11 games. This is a playoff team. The quarterback has to play at that level. Uh, this is exactly where he wanted to go. Phillip Rivers retires. There's a big void at quarterback, and there wasn't any other team he wanted to go to. He wanted to go to Frank Reich in Indianapolis, and he's there. And so now it's just about delivering. Now, in order to deliver the goods – Mechanics have to get better, Willie. They, they were not good last year. Whether you want to say it was confidence, get the confidence back, I, it always starts with the basics and the fundamentals. And so he's got to get back to that. And if he can, the talent is still there. That's the same talent that he was setting the league on fire on in 2017. But it's, there's, been, there's been a drop since then. So let's see if he can get it back. But and, and, and everything Mark around him is ready to go. And, Baldy, you got to understand, when you're at the quarterback position, you're going to get criticized. You can't let the outside mm -hmm. noise affect your play on the yep. football field. And the other thing you got to do, oh, yeah, stay healthy. Stay on the football field.